Hey you guys, so I'm in REI right now and I am gonna become a member. Just so you guys know, it's $20 to become a member at REI and you get 10% back at the end of the year um, that you could use for the following year. So it makes sense, it's $20 for a lifetime membership and on the boots that I'm buying today, because they're $240, um, I get $24 back. So it's almost like my membership is free. But I wanted to show you guys, I was going hiking in Sedona. Right now I'm in Flagstaff. So I landed in Flagstaff, I got a rental car, I went straight to REI because I didn't have any hiking boots. Um, and I wanted to get good ones, but I, I had a lot of questions and I couldn't get my questions answered online and I wanted to try them on. And thank God that I did and this is why I wanted to make this video. So, I'm a size 10, I'm 270 pounds, so I'm a big girl. Um, and he was telling me that the weight doesn't matter, but if you're backpacking, the weight matters. So they told me to get everything half a size bigger because your feet swell when you're hiking. He said, if you're using weight, like a backpack with a tent and a bunch of other stuff, you're gonna need a backpacking boot, which holds the weight more and kind of like holds you up and it's better for you. So I went to try these on cause I'm a girl, right? So I like these Solomon's. Right, because I heard Solomon was the number one hiking boot. And I get it because it's super light. And this one I like because it's super pretty. But for some reason, the way that my particular foot is, it hurts right here. Like where your foot slopes. So I, I opted not to get these, but these were very comfortable. And I'm also one of these people that I'm prone to get blisters on the back of my feet. So I did not pick these, but I think these are beautiful shoes and these are great for someone that has like a slim foot. Um, or doesn't have like a big arch on their foot. Then I went ahead and I looked at these. These are the REI ones, and I figured it's REI. They know what they're doing, right? <laughs> and I also like them because they're beautiful, and these were a good contender, but because I'm going on that trip around the world, I wanted, you know, a more stable, heavy boot, and I'll show you which ones I got at the end. So these are beautiful for people that care about the way they look. These are really beautiful boots. I highly recommend them. They work well. They did not bother me. Um, and I like them. These. The elbows also had an issue with the slope of my foot. So what happens is like it rubs against the top of my foot and I'm afraid I'm gonna get a blister there. But again, if you have very slim feet, you're not gonna have that issue. Are very pretty. Oh, and this one actually has like, I have ankle rollout. Maybe I should try these again and see how it has the ankle rollout and this helps with the support. So I'm actually gonna try these again just to see. And then, oh, these are also oboes. These are the ones that the lady that I was talking to here recommended. And these also have the ankle support. You know, let me try these on. And these are also very beautiful. Um, but if it does hurt on the slope of my foot, I'm not gonna buy them. And they're all waterproof. So I asked for waterproof boots because I wanted to make sure that um, no water seeped in in case it did rain or if I'm in the jungle somewhere in Japan or whatever and there's snow or Vietnam, like I'm not screwed. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, Machu Picchu, all that stuff. Bye. You were, you were going with it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. All right, so I'm going with the Loa, or Iowa. Is Loa? L -O -W? Loa. Loa. Um, because they're more versatile. And the Superfeet Green, we're actually, I'm buying these. I took out the insoles from those and we're cutting them down to size because these are really good. Because I have ankle rollout. So if you guys have ankle rollout, um, the Oboz, O-B-O-Z, those are really good for that. Um, but again, for me, it was just too much on the, the top of my foot. But then I just learned that if you unlace them and there's a specific way to lace them, you can actually wear any hiking boot. So I'm just gonna go with these because they were just immediately comfortable and I'm just going to what I'm drawn to at this point in my life. Um, so definitely I recommend buying these, cutting them to size, taking out the insole of the shoe and doing that. And I don't know how that's gonna work with the oboes, but let me just show you these really cute Sorrel sandals. Okay, so <laughs> I saw these, right? Adorable. These are cute, right? They're $80, but I found them on eBay for like 50 because you know, I'm, I'm a cheapo. Um, and one pair for 40, so I bought the $40 one. But I saw this one first and I fell in love with it. 
And then I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, I might buy this one. But yeah, so if you wanna like a good walking shoe and it's a little sporty, got a little bit of support, but it's still flat, Sorel makes these. All right, bye. Hey guys, so I'm leaving now. I have a lot of stuff I wanna tell you, but you see those pickaxes right there? Every REI store has a pickaxe as the handle and it's because it started off with pickaxes. So there was a bunch of people uh, back in the day and pickaxes were really expensive and they weren't made that well in America, but they were made better in Europe. So they started a co-op in a garage, which is why they have garage sales. It's so funny, like I'm, I'm looking for my car and I'm in a rental, um, which is why they have garage sales. And everybody put in a dollar and started the co-op. So for that $20 that you spend that I was telling you about before, um, you get 10% back the following March, right? And of that 10%, you can either use it as credit or in July, you can cash it out. You can actually get cash back for spending $20 up front and then buying whatever you need to buy. And then you could return it even if you've used it. They have like the garage sales, which basically allow you to return anything for whatever reason, you have to give them the reason, and then you're able to, they resell it at like 30 to 70% off um, to people who wanna buy things at a discounted rate. Like there's some people that they know they're gonna truck and they're gonna mess up their shoes. So why buy brand new shoes, you know? Um, it's so fascinating. And then he was telling me that all the employees there are um, actual adventure activity people. So they know what they're talking about. And it's volunteer. Uh, well, not volunteer, I mean like they get paid, you know? But I mean, they, they're doing it because they want to, not because they have to, not because it's a job. He was also telling me that they have great benefits. So if you only work 20 hours a week, they still give you benefits like you're working full time. That's great for anybody who's looking for something part time and they need benefits, especially if you're older and you need medical benefits. It's a great opportunity, you know, if you're an adventure activity person and you wanted to, you know, continue getting um health insurance to work there i love this company like and I'm, I'm like an rei fan right now you have no idea so i just wanted to share that with you guys because i just love everything that they're doing like everything that they stand for um everything that they they are i like and then they said that the owners they live to be like 106 or 107 before they pass that's cool um, so now I'm actually headed to my Airbnb <laughs> and then from there I'm going to sleep because I haven't slept a full night yet since Friday, you know, like I didn't really sleep on Friday. I had two hours of sleep. I was up for like 30 hours when I got to Vegas. Um, and then I was there and I really didn't get a full night's sleep at all. The first night I just kept waking up. I don't know why I just kept waking up like every hour, every two hours. And then the second night I didn't want to miss check-in. So from seven to like nine, I was waking up like every 30 minutes. And then yesterday my flight was at four o'clock in the morning, uh, no, like six o'clock in the morning. So I had to be up at four. So I went to bed at like 10 and I woke up at three. I only had like, I didn't go to bed. I went to bed at like 11. So I only had four hours of sleep. I haven't had a full night's sleep in like four days. And I'm going on a hike today for, for four hours, three hours. So we'll see what happens. Um, at REI, I went ahead and I picked up the insoles, the shoes, and a poncho in case it rains, because apparently it could just rain out of nowhere. And I didn't bring my raincoat. I packed it, and then I'm like, I don't need this. It's not gonna be cold. I didn't think of it as a raincoat. I thought of it as like a evening coat, you know? Um, I was gonna buy one here, and then you could return it, but I, I didn't wanna do that. I'm not like that. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'll just buy the poncho for $7. That should be more than enough for me. And I brought a coat, you know, like a little cute coat that I always travel with. So if it gets cold, I have that. Um, oh, I lost the button right there, see? That's just what fell on the floor. But it's okay, because it still looks cute if they fall out, so whatever. Um, but that's my REI experience, so it's fascinating, fascinating. I like this company, I like what they stand for. Like, Oh, and they, they like to do the return things because they don't want it to go into a landfill. If you have a business and you're into stuff like that, that's genius. Okay, bye. One more thing I completely forgot. They give you a $20 gift card for becoming a member. 
So you basically get your money back. You, ha you can't use it the same day, but you can use it the next day. So you pay $20 to be a member, you get the $20 gift card. <laughs> Sorry, plus you get the 10% um, back at the end of the year. They call it a dividend. It's so worth it.